In Visual Cloud Functions, we've looked at entities for storing data and roles for managing permissions. Now let's look at functions. Functions let us do calculations on the server so it is faster and we do not need to bring all the data back to the front end. In our employee salary example, let's create a function to calculate how much extra cost it would be to give a bonus to all our employees. As an input, we will ask for a percentage raise to give all employees. We will need to retrieve all the salary records to do the calculation. We will then specify an outcome, meaning that we want to return a value. For this outcome, we create an output. Our function could provide many outputs. An output is always based on a formula, and we will now specify that formula. In our case, the formula calculates the raise for each employee with the map function and then sums all the raises together with the sum function. Of course, we need to save and redeploy the Visual Cloud Function project. Back in the front end, in the Data tab, we will see that the Visual Cloud Function project was updated. So we will go to the Cloud Functions tab and enable our function for our project. In our page, we already added a few components so we can specify a percent raise in the input field and then click a button to request the cost. For the button logic, there is a special flow function, run cloud function. We select our function and provide the input from our page variable, which is already bound to the input field. Finally, we add an alert box and bind it to the output of the run cloud function flow function, which shows us the outputs we defined. We run the app, put in 10% for the race, because we're generous, and we see the full cost of the race.